Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 011, Arithmetic, Section 4.10, Problem 15. This is Section 4.10, Problem 15. It says, using information from previous problems in this homework, compute how many milliliters are in 3.8 quarts. So I want to convert quarts to milliliters. So typically what we do is we start with a given amount and I want to multiply that times something that will make the units cancel and make what I want show up. So I want to cancel the quarts and what I want to show up is the milliliters. Now it says using um, information from previous problems. So as you look back in the problems and you're looking for things with milliliters, quarts, and all that, I do find in problem number seven it says that there are 32 fluid ounces equals one quart. I do find that. And then in problem 12 it tells me that 29.57 milliliters, which I'll abbreviate, is equal to one fluid ounce. And again, I abbreviate a little bit. So that's the given information. I don't have anything that goes directly from quarts to milliliters. So that's okay. What you do is multiply times your unusual number one as many times as you have to until you keep canceling and you make the units you want show up. So let's start with this. Again, ultimately this is my goal. I want quarts to cancel, I want milliliters to be my new unit. So let's start with 3.8 quarts. And I'm going to multiply that times something with quarts in the bottom. So what do I have with quarts? What I have is one quart is 32 fluid ounces. So one quart goes on the top, 32 fluid ounces. And again, I abbreviate a little bit. So now when I do that, my new unit's going to be fluid ounces, which is not what I want. I want it to be milliliters. But again, I don't have a direct conversion where I can do only one multiplication. I'll just multiply again. And this time I'll use a fraction that has fluid ounces in the denominator. And if I do that, one fluid ounce is equivalent to 29.57 milliliters. So now when I multiply that first multiplication will make the quarts cancel and I'll be in fluid ounces and then as I multiply the next one fluid ounces will cancel and I'll be in milliliters which is what the question asked me to do go from quarts to milliliters. So what's going to have to happen in terms of the number I have a 3.8 in the numerator 32 is also in the numerator and 29.57 is also in the numerator, so I don't have any division. And the remaining units of measure will be milliliters. So I have to multiply 3.8 times 32 times 29.57 and it'll come out in milliliters. That's a little beyond my ability to do in my head. Um, and it would be very tedious to do out by hand. It could certainly be done, but with a calculator it'll be a piece of cake. So I'll put in 3.8 times 32 times 29.57 equals. So the answer I get comes out to 3595.712. So that's 3595.712 and my units of measure are milliliters. So 3.8 quarts is equivalent to 3595.712 milliliters.